guys, how are you? This is a general reading for the Collective of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's not date or time specific, so whenever you come upon it, if it speaks to you, could be your message at that time. Welcome all cross watchers for Cancerians, and for those of you who are brand new to the channel, happy you landed here. Um, today is the uh, new moon in Gemini, so um, new moon blessings to all of you. I did do the new moon in Gemini reading for the collective, so that was already uploaded. You can check that out if you so desire. And um, yeah, let's pull from Priestess of Light Oracle to activate the reading. Whew. Card number four, Summoning Power instinct intellect and control summoning your power there i love with the wolves by her side so operating on instinct right your intuition your intellect and your sense of control beautiful nice priestess of light message for you cancer so i'm going to jump in pull the spread give you my general impressions and then we'll use clarifiers for the details um, and here we go. Do keep in mind it's general, not a private, so it may not resonate for everybody. Ooh. Coming in with the Six of Cups. What's crossing you here is the Five of Cups. So um, we have some regrets of the past here. Maybe this is a long lost love, somebody from your past in this incarnation or um, from past lives, even yes, 10 of swords in your unconscious awareness. In the past, this is, um, the queen of cups is associated with the sign of cancer. So speaking to emotionality, empathy, compassion, but also sensitivity, like your heart is open, but it can also be breaking, right? And in your conscious awareness, the moon here, um, maybe something that is giving you some, you know, triggering some insecurities or some apprehension. Um, it's what you can't see, what you don't know that sort of, you know, grabs you and has you off balance. We have the nine of pentacles in the near future. So that's talking about <laughs> summoning your power, your independence, your autonomy, you know, it's that message that says you're, you're okay in the world, uh, you can take care of yourself um, and forge your path ahead. All right, so let's just jump in and do a little clarifying. Ten of Pentacles, the Lovers, Five of Pentacles. I feel like you um, may have imagined a future with this person. So this, this could be um, somebody you were planning a future with coming through definitely as your beloved twin flame soulmate, past life soulmate in the six of cups energy. But with that five of pentacles, um, it feels like there could have been some, some form of um, feeling shut out, devalued, um, not not deemed worthy there could have been something that happened here because we do have this painful ending that you're still sort of um processing internally but it feels to me like whatever has happened here it certainly um has left this the the connection feeling very insecure um meaning not stable Okay, Ten of Swords in your unconscious awareness. Okay, Judgment, Eight of Swords, Three of Wands. So there's this energy of sort of inviting, anticipating an opportunity for um, reconciliation, reunion, second chances, but with that eight of swords, it's almost like, well, how do I make this happen? Feeling kind of stuck around that, maybe overthinking, over-processing everything that's happened and not knowing your next best step forward. Here's a hint for those of you that are here um, with uh, Cancerian energy in your chart. The next best step is into your feelings. This isn't something you're gonna be able to think your way through. You're gonna have to feel your way through it, um, which is very difficult and why I'm glad I see 
the um, Queen of Cups in the past because that is the access point to your, um, to your heart chakra. And so if you wanna get unstuck, the quickest way to do it is to tap back into that energy um, of first of all, compassion for yourself, sensitivity, and an open range of emotions to help you navigate the situation. Um, Queen of Cups in the past. Six of Swords, Seven of Swords, Justice. Ah, yeah. So we could have had something here that just felt very shady. Maybe um, there could have been just some avoidance here, but because I'm looking at the Ten of Pentacles and now the Justice card um, and some regrets or sadness or loss here, the Five of Pentacles, that insecure, un, you know, um, devalued, um, energy, the nine of pentacles going forward. I almost get the impression that someone stepped out on a marriage here, either stepped out on a marriage or stepped out on a committed relationship. Um, I'm feeling like a little third party scenario. Um, and I do feel like it, it did take a toll on you really just wanting to get beyond it to some peace of mind something that did not feel fair did not um uh, i'm not seeing a tower but i feel like something happened here that resulted in almost like you didn't see it coming um, and whether you feel sad about it or you have regrets on the topic or your person has some regrets, we're looking at the past regardless. And it's something that was very destabilizing um, and, you know, leaving you feeling bereft. We have the five of cups, the five of pentacles, the seven of swords, the ten of swords. There's a story here that feels um, heartbreaking. And it kind of comes almost out of the blue. Let's see the moon in your conscious awareness. Queen of Pentacles, Empress, High Priestess. You don't know what's going on with your person. There could be um, a third party and you may be dealing with somebody who's married. And they may have told you that they were leaving their marriage and they didn't and you're perceiving that as a betrayal. Very specific storyline coming through. It's hard to trust your intuition. You are divine feminine energy. The queen of pentacles is the, is the spouse of your person. That's the storyline that's coming through. So if it doesn't resonate for you, maybe next time, um, but it's a real specific storyline. So there's all those insecurities that kind of rise up because you don't know what's happening um, sort of behind the scenes uh, and it's feeling uh, it's taking a toll on you emotionally um, mentally how you process it what to do about it nine of pentacles going forward queen of swords king of wands oh yeah three of pentacles right so we have this opportunity in the near future coming from you uh, summoning your power your instinct is the high priestess your intellect is this queen of swords and your control nine of pentacles right um i feel there comes an opportunity for you to stare down your unavailable lover here um the one who either made promises that they couldn't keep or told some story um, that was in fact not true and you got questions to ask um, queen of swords very logical and practical checking emotions at the door both of these cards here the nine of pentacles and the queen of swords um, you know they kind of both see right through all the bs uh, and so i do have a feeling that the question one of the main questions you'll be looking at is I thought we were on the same page. I thought we were invested. I thought we were in the process of building something here together. Um, so that three of pentacles can be about cooperation, co-creation, being on the same page at the same time. It can also be about thir third party, right? 
one too many people in the mix. So if that is speaking to you, that is the storyline that's coming through. Either someone who's married and claims that they or said they were going to leave the spouse and hasn't or didn't and wasn't honest about it. And that comes as a painful end of some sort um, that leaves you not knowing what to do, not knowing what to expect. Three of Wands, right? It's very heavy energy here. Um, for, for others of you, it could just be that you had, you had um, intentions for a future with this person and they flaked out, right? Seven of Swords, King of Wands. All smoke, no fire. So that's what I have for you for now. Um, I'm gonna take it to the extended and I wanna see what goes on with this King of Wands. So for that um, spread, what I'm looking at, let me refresh my memory, is like their higher vibration and their lower vibration. Meaning, how are, you know, what's their approach to this situation from their higher self, from their lower self? Uh, what are their feelings for you? Um, their intentions toward you? Uh, hidden energy, what do they not want you to see? And then any message they may have for you. So that's what we're gonna explore. And it may be very helpful for those of you that say, yes, oh my God, this is my story. It will help you prepare for that convo when it, you know, when the time approaches and the time is right to have it. You may at least have some information to work with to help you. So if this reading has been insightful and um, feels like it resonates with you, please join us here more regularly by subscribing below. You can like or share as you feel called to do. Here's the astrology that showed up. The lover's card is Gemini. Hmm, on the Gemini new moon, all right? We have judgment is Pluto. Pluto's in the mix of this new moon as I record this. Um, in a favorable way, actually, Pluto is um, associated with Scorpio. We have the Queen of Cups is Cancerian energy. Uh, Justice is Libra. We have the moon is Pisces, queen of pentacles, Capricornian energy. Venus here is in the heart of the sun right now and conjunct the new moon. That is um, Taurus and Libra. And the high priestess is associated with the moon, but I say she's Pisces. Um, nine of pentacles is Virgo's energy. Not, uh, queen of swords is Libra. King of wands is Leo. So that's what we have. Um, yeah, you're summoning your power, using your intellect, your reasoning, your sense of self-control to get at the heart of the matter, right? I think you see the truth of the situation, but you just need some, some details, some receipts, okay? So that's what I have. The links to the extended are below. There are a couple different ways you can access the extended. I will see you there momentarily. Bye for now.